In this chapter, we have been discussing rotation operator by using spin angular momentum states with the two states having eigenvalues plus h cross by 2 and minus h cross by 2. Okay, here onwards, we are generalizing this angular momentum states and uh, 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 without restricting the dimension to 2. So, we are generalizing the angular momentum states. For that, let's begin with commutation relations and lactor operators. Okay, for that, let's define an operator j square. That is equal to jx, jx plus, jy, jy plus, jz, jz. Okay, and uh, that commutes with every one of jk. That is j square, jk. The property of this j square is j square, jk is equal to 0, where k is equal to 1, 2, 3. And we know j, j1 is equal to jx, j2 is equal to uh, jy, and j3 is equal to jz. Okay, to prove this one, let us take an example. Let k is equal to 3. k is equal to 3 means j3, that is jz. Okay, so commutator of j square jz is equal to, uh, we can write it as commutator of jx, jx plus jy, jy plus jz, jz, comma, jz. Okay, that is equal to, we can expand this commutator bracket in this manner. Uh, that is equal to jx, jx, comma, jz plus jy, jy, comma, jz plus jz, jz, comma, jz. Okay, this commutator bracket can be expanded in this way. Uh, so, this, this term this term can be expressed as jx jx uh, has taken outside jx into commutator, commutator of jx jz plus jx jz and this jx uh, has taken outside into right side jx so this two terms this two terms represents this one this commutator bracket okay similarly we can express this commutator bracket by using these two terms and uh, that is jy into commutator of jy jz plus jy into jy jz into commutator uh, of jy jz into jy plus uh, this third commutation relation commutator bracket can be expressed as plus uh, jz 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 plus uh, jz jz into jz okay and we know jx into commutator of jx jz is minus ih cross jy and uh, commutator of jx jz is minus ih cross jy into jx and this one jy jz is ih cross jx as well as uh, jy jz is ih cross jx into jy plus and we know the commutator, co commutation relation of uh, commutator bracket of jz jz is equal to 0 jz jz is equal to 0 okay and this term is uh, minus ih cross minus ih cross jx jy here one plus ih cross J, jx jy is there so this two times will get cancelled and uh, here minus ih cross jy jx is there plus ih cross jy jx is there so that is equal to 0 okay so we have proved j square jk is equal to 0 we can take uh, instead of k is equal to 3 we can take k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 we will get the same answer okay now we are looking for the simultaneous eigenket of j square and jz and we define denote the eigenvalues of j square and jz by a and b okay that means this is the simultaneous eigenvalue of j square and jz if you operate with j square we will get the eigenvalue a and if you operate with jz we will get an eigenvalue b okay and uh, to get the allowed values of uh, the eigenvalues a and b we define two non hermitian operator two non hermitian operators one is j plus that is equal to jx plus ij by and another is j minus that is equal to jx minus ij by and is known as ladder operators and here i am writing the three properties uh, of this ladder operators one is commutator of j plus j minus is equal to 2h cross jz to get this value we need to substitute uh, we need to substitute jx plus ij by uh, for j plus and uh, jx minus ij by for j minus okay that are the easy steps so i am not doing that one just writing the properties uh, the second property is jz j plus or minus is equal to j plus or mi uh, plus or minus h cross uh, j plus or minus and here the third property j square j plus or minus is equal to 0 okay and uh, uh, to explain the physical meaning of j plus or minus um, uh, physical meaning of j plus or minus uh, we are taking we are taking j plus or minus uh, j plus or minus is operating on a b as a ket okay if an operator operates on a ket we will get another ket so this we are considering as one ket j plus or minus a b as one ket and we are uh, taking an operator jz and operating on this ket we will get 
that is equal to we can write we can write jz into j plus or minus in this way jz j plus or minus minus j j plus or minus jz plus j plus or minus jz okay so that uh, j plus or minus jz and j plus or minus jz will get cancelled and the resulting term is jz into j plus or minus only that's here we have written okay jz into j plus or minus okay and uh, we need to reduce that into another form that is jz j plus or minus minus j plus or minus jz into commutator of jz j plus or minus okay plus plus the remaining term is j plus or minus jz sorry uh, uh, this one is uh, this one operating operates on ab and uh, uh, here commutator of jz j plus plus j plus j plus or minus jz operates on ab okay and that is equal to we know the commutator of jz j plus or minus commutator of jz j plus or minus is equal to plus or minus h cross j plus or minus plus or minus h cross j plus or minus and uh, this this term is j plus or minus jz is operating on ab okay and uh, next step is plus or minus h cross j plus or minus ab i am um, expanding this bracket ab plus j plus or minus j plus or minus if jz operates on ab jz operates on ab we will get an eigen value b with ket ab okay eigen value b with ket ab and that is equal to plus or minus h cross into j plus or minus ab j plus or minus ab has written in this bracket plus b into this is an eigen value b into j plus or minus ab okay and uh, we can take uh, this as b plus or minus b plus or minus h cross into b plus or minus h cross into j plus or minus ab j plus or minus ab that means if we operate if we operate uh, jz on this kit we will get the resultant as b plus or minus h cross into j plus or minus j plus or minus ab so this step j z j plus or minus ab is equal to b plus or minus h cross j plus or minus ab leads to the explanation of physical meaning of j plus or minus that is if we apply j plus or minus to a j z if we apply j plus or minus to a j z i can get this ab is a j z i can get i can get the resulting ket is still a j z i can get the resulting ket is still a j z i can get except that its eigen value is now increased or decreased to decreased by one unit of h cross here the eigen value of jz eigen value of jz is eigen value of jz uh, eigen value of jz is b eigen value of jz is b so the eigen value of jz is increased b plus h cross or decreased by b minus h cross or decreased by one unit of h cross so actually this j plus or minus is doing the step one step up or down on the ladder of jz eigen values okay if we consider if we consider the eigen values of jz as a ladder as a ladder the difference between the two the difference between two steps is h cross difference between the two steps is h cross that means jz j plus is doing j plus is actually doing uh, actually increasing increasing the eigen value by one step and if j minus and uh, j minus is actually decreasing the eigen value by one step okay that is j plus or minus changes the eigen values of jz by one unit of h cross okay so j plus or minus changes the eigen values of j plus jz by one unit of h cross and let's check j plus or minus um, j plus or minus what j plus or minus uh, doing the eigen values of j square okay for that we are taking j square uh, j square operating on a ket j plus or minus ab and that is equal to we can write j square j plus or minus as j plus or minus j square okay uh, uh, since j square j plus or minus is equal to zero that means j square j plus or minus minus j square j minus j plus or minus j square is equal to zero um in the by using the property of commutator bracket and that leads to the relation j square j plus or minus is equal to j plus or minus j square okay so and uh, here 
the j square on ab will give an eigenvalue a and uh, can be written as that is equal to a into j plus or minus ab okay that means that means j plus or minus plus or minus operator will not change the eigenvalue of j square j plus or minus operator will not change the eigenvalue of a square earlier j plus or minus j plus or minus operator has changed the eigenvalue of jz jz by one unit of h cross by one unit of h cross but here the j plus or minus operator will not change the eigenvalue of j square here we got the eigenvalue as a itself okay that is j plus or minus a b r so uh, we can we can reach into a conclusion j plus or minus a b r simultaneous eigenvalue of j square and j z with eigenvalues a and a and b plus or minus h cross and we may write j plus or minus a b is equal to c plus or minus a b plus or minus h cross okay where c plus or minus r c plus or minus is proportionality constant okay so uh, the conclusion is conclusion is j plus or minus operator operator uh, the j plus or minus operator increase or decrease the eigenvalue of j z eigenvalue of j z by one unit of h cross by one unit of h cross and this uh, ladder operator j plus or minus will not change the eigenvalue eigenvalue of the operator j square okay